And oh my gosh, this sit is literally having a life on its of its own on my face. And it has people are is VPing to the party. On my face. But anyway. Keep a pee. Looky look down. Lockdown has got your girl breaking out like nobody's business. But at least um I know it's gonna pop on its own and it's gonna just disappear. I'll I'm not a a pimple popper so i'm sure dr pimple popper is like girl come through with the pimple right here come through with the pimple right here come through mm, come through welcome to my video welcome to a story time basically welcome to my life and welcome to a platform where literally everything goes where we talk about makeup where we talk about friendship where we talk about clothes where we talk about career where we talk about religion so this is the first post about it this might be the first and the last because i don't really want to go into it like that because it's not for me to discuss but anyway you guys already know the the what the video is about and uh, according to the title of the video so without wasting any further time guys please do subscribe let me give you like two seconds i'm kind mm -hmm. done thank you and to the people who have subscribed and the people who comment i i see you guys i appreciate you and let's keep it coming let's keep it coming let me know what you guys want to see um, before I actually get into the video, I just want to just put it out there that this is my personal experience What I went through other people went through different things. I'm not saying this is gonna happen to you I'm not saying that if the if you are in a situation like this is gonna end up the way it ended up with it ended with me And another thing is that because I'm gonna be talking about a different religion This is not the platform for any of you guys to come here and attack them because I actually love them those people you know I respect their religion and this is not it so if you are gonna be negative just don't write anything but if you do write something that's derogatory or it's just offensive in its nature I am gonna have to delete that comment because negative vibes over there push them out push them out push them out Okay, cool. Now, let's get into the video. So I moved to another city when I was doing, when I got my first job. I moved to another city and I lived in Pretoria, the capital of South Africa. I don't know why I like doing my own side effects, but I do. So I moved to Pretoria, got into a lift club, met this guy in the lift club. He told me he was a Muslim. I didn't really care because he looked gorgeous. And I thought I knew a lot about the religion and I wasn't like scared about it because I had read about it and I had a like a cyber friend who was a Muslim and he'd tell me a lot about it and I just felt like I know what it's about you know I'm not like every other Christian or every other person who just looks at Muslims like Ooh, what's that religion about they don't allow women to do this and this and that I actually had some background knowledge before I met him Gandhi was on the surface that was just that was not in the tip of the ass that was just like oh my gosh guys gosh okay so I dated this guy amazing guy shout out because I know you're watching so I dated this guy amazing guy I mean awesome intelligent smart um, easy to get along with um, Everyone in my family got along with him. All my cousins got along with him. Most of my, all my friends actually got along with him. Um, he was a cool guy. He was nice. Like he he himself, apart from the religion, was a great guy. And then you mix his religion with him, it just made him like amazing. Okay, so met him, dated him, and it was all hunky dory and great in the beginning. That I do my thing and he do his thing. Um, uh, so, I mean, as the relationship progressed, I mean, there needs to be progress from each of you individually, so, you know, so I just decided, you know what I'm going to do? I need to understand what this guy 
is about and his religion i mean we did have conversations here and there where he'd tell me no we don't do this we don't eat pork we don't drink alcohol like the basic things that like you know this is how we greet each other i pray five times a day i knew i knew all those things but then we would talk about them extensively and i was just talking about them like okay brother and you affect our but I mean, eventually when you grow older and you start seeing a future with this person, you just start thinking, okay, we need to stop thinking about ourselves now. You know, this is me and my thoughts, you know, one day just sitting there and saying, Maple, you need to stop thinking about other people. You know, you guys are like, we keep talking about kids and marriage and all those things. So we got into this thing called i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but it's basically called mota where it's like pre-marriage courting type of vibe um, and he was very helpful you know he was very helpful around my place i mean i had my own place and his home was in the city where i was working so he didn't have his own apartment so he really contributed to to to, to our living space my living space which was basically our living space um i really appreciated that and then things got serious so one of the biggest problem i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie one of the biggest problems that we did have was the consumption of alcohol i wouldn't say that i am an alcoholic or i like i can't live off alcohol but i've never been in a situation where someone asked me when are you gonna stop drinking you know, thinking this person is asking me when am i gonna stop drinking Yo, okay, no, fine, cool. It's whatever. You know, that became a little bit of a problem because it was like, what? Nothing that I had expected. And then, um, the thing about the churches. So then, evidently, I started going to his church. And on Sundays, he'd also come to my church. You know, guys, we were really trying to make it work like trying, trying to see what can work you know trial and error i mean that's how you yeah i mean you need to test the grounds to know if it's if it's safe to walk on so um i went to his church uh and they were speaking in arabic firstly i don't understand the language so they gave me a translation bible but I wasn't feeling connected I'm not going to lie because I'm raised in a certain way I pray in a certain way I'm used to praise and worship and we don't do that there a lot of things just started to be like mm, like and I think the reason why I stayed and the reason why he stayed is because we worked so well together and like we made a good couple i mean like if if he was if, if i was of the same religion i think it would have been amazing you know but then for me because he prays five times a day and i'm out there drinking and partying i started to put him on this bigger platform like i wouldn't say like as a god or anything like that no just a little bit too perfect but yeah i think that's the word like he was so perfect in my mind and here i am and i somehow sometimes always felt judged and i became super defensive about everything like we couldn't have a normal conversation where he raises something and it's just normal i would fight and that's that was a problem you know i think i don't know i became insecure i don't know but i just felt so judged all the time like when he talk about alcohol i just think it's judging me but he's also expressing what he doesn't like you know i always felt judged i always felt attacked and that was not even the case but it's because this thing that i've been doing for i mean i started drinking when i was how old 17 18 sorry mom and dad but yeah and i wasn't drinking like <laughs> no no we don't do that we drink classy well maybe now and then when you've got stress you know you you'll get a bit turned 
And then I started realizing that exposed to so much of his religion that I started to question my own religion and I stopped praying totally. I stopped going to the church with him. I stopped going to my own church. I stopped praying. Going to church was just like that thing. It's Sunday. We go to church. We come back. I was just literally just living life like I know I prayed to God and I think that's when the conversation of I don't want to believe in any religion because of that because now his little religion seems better than mine because he's doing all these other things that we don't do and which one is the right one we all are children of God which one is the right one and and then got to conversations about having kids right and he was like we can't baptize our kids because you know they don't get baptized in islam and i'm like what's gonna happen guys like what's gonna happen because you know he's been trying to get me to see that religion he's trying to get me to have muslim friends and i wasn't having it i was just feeling like it should happen organically you know it and guys it was so hectic to the point where i was like i remember we went to a, to a wedding and i couldn't sit with him and he was the only person that i knew there because the woman had to sit that side and the man had to sit that side and we used to have conversations about why they don't have uh, female pastors and I mean, I'm from a Catholic church and we don't have female pastors, okay? But we have females that also help with serving the Holy Communion. You know, for me, it's like at least there's something there. As much as there isn't that thing out there, they can become priests, but they, they are working in the church somehow. And then he's like, no, we don't have female pastors or female sheikhs because you know how we pray, we kneel and whatever. And then she's a woman and then she's kneeling in front of men. I would get so livid, like, because I'm a woman now, I can't pray in front of you guys because you guys are going to look at my booty. That's not fair, you know. And the one thing that I liked when I started dating him was this term that they used called, uh, they need to lower their gaze. So when he met me he was like full blown well he still is but i just made him bend the rules a bit here and there because it would be so awkward when he meets my friends and he gives them a handshake and he doesn't hug them and then they're like why doesn't he hug us i'm like no it's not according to his religion he's not supposed to hug and he's not supposed to look you directly in the eye he needs to lower his gaze so i liked to use that term i remember when we started dating like mm, you need to lower your gaze bro you need to look at me only <laughs> But eventually we got to a point where we were like, are we going to be able to survive? Because I was starting to resent him and I did tell him that I'm going to start resenting you. I'm going to start getting angry because now I want to have a future with you because I really love you. And then I'm going to have kids with you and they're going to they're gonna be Muslim. And then I'm going to have to force myself to become a Muslim even though I don't want to. Because that's not the journey that I am on right now. You know, maybe in the future I will be. But for now, I don't see myself. And he just thought that, ah man, this girl, she's taking it in such a negative context. And maybe I was. But you know when you're raised in a certain way. He was also a Catholic. But he had a lot of questions and things were not sitting right with him and he just decided no nope, i'm not going to do this there are quite some things that i do love about the religion which i feel like everybody should implement you know um i did miss bacon i did miss bacon because guys i went in for i stopped eating things that were not halal because i had to do groceries with him so even my friends shout out Larad and Kopanang, they would even buy groceries to accommodate us because we were with them so frequently that he wouldn't eat this he wouldn't eat that and my cousin's wife would buy things knowing that if mapila and the boyfriend come through they'll be able to eat everything so you you see like even my friends were in it even my mom like he'd be here for 
I remember last year was here and there was an unveiling and my mom got like cool drinks and juices there like no give him you know like my family is very supportive in that in that way so there's a lot man they 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 pray five times a day like religiously i mean that's a good thing in any respect whether you to who to whomever you're praying for praying five times a day that's good uh they really give in charity they're really charitable people they are they really take their religion seriously because their religion actually affects which i think is something that should happen with all religions like it affects all the aspects of their lives so they even have islamic banking where the interest rate is a bit different so that you don't you don't have money that you didn't earn you know um and one interesting thing that i noticed or what he made me notice is that the bible has been translated in there's so many versions so many versions of the bible even coming to different languages there's a zulu there's kosa there's pedi there's english there's afrikaans it's been translated so much and we all know that translation can meaning can be lost in translation the quran which is the book that they use they it's never been translated it's never been translated so i'm sure you're just thinking okay Mapula, if the religion was so great then why couldn't you adapt um the difference between the the one big difference between the religion is that with christianity i mean we just we just went from easter now we believe that as a christian we believe that jesus came to the world and he was given messages from god to practice to do miracles to make people believe in god and that he was the son of god and that he died and then he rose again on the third day in accordance to the scripture and that is basically what the whole eucharist is about the eucharist is basically the mass the mass at church it talks about the last supper it talks about him dying for our sins it talks about believing in his resurrection it that's what it's about that he is the son of god and he died for our sins and you know what judgment day will come for them they believe that prophet muhammad peace be upon him was the last prophet they believe that there's a jesus and there's abraham they believe that prophet muhammad peace be upon him every uh, angel gabriel came to him and gave him the message that you are the chosen prophet and you must you know you must give the messages of god so can you see the difference it's really big it's a really big difference it's a really big difference so that's that's basically what happened and we broke up because i was going through the most and I was felt judged and other little other things that I don't want to go into details because this video is mainly about um, the different religions and the dynamics that I faced based on that and we broke up and after four months I went back to him I went back to him because I loved him so much that I didn't even want to face the reality that this is not gonna work you know um, he didn't forgive me because we broke up again <laughs> and he's like i never forgave you for for breaking up with me for the first time because i felt like there was more to the breakup and um so i was just thinking then why did you get back together with me i guess for the same reasons that i got back together with him because we really loved each other but for me i would just say it didn't work out because basically i wasn't willing to sacrifice my religion and relationships are about sacrifice and if you can't and i just felt like i can't sacrifice that part of me i i, I felt very strongly about it i prayed about it i cried about it and i'm just like i don't think i can do that for another person it has to be for me and now it's not for me uh, and he's a great guy and I hope he meets a great woman who will appreciate everything that comes with him and not try to change him and 
I also need someone who's not gonna try and change me and you know take me with my imperfections and try to make me better so that's what happened that's what happened and that's my story about dating in a different religion my parents were involved my parents were heartbroken but my parents understood because our parents are our parents and yeah no I either feel like you let it be white roads ahead open roads ahead be happy and we still talk we still talk I randomly call him and check up on him uh, because our breakup wasn't a bad breakup it wasn't because you did this and you did that or no it was just that we can't be together because every time we talk about the future I get nervous get nervous that how are we gonna pray if because he's like my children are my kids my kids have to be muslim which is understandable i mean i'm my father's kid child and i'm catholic you know and i'm gonna be a loner in the house i'm gonna be the only catholic and my kids are there how am i gonna teach them values if me and their dad have different life values Mom is gonna be drinking a glass of wine and it's gonna be like Ooh, mommy so <laughs> that's what happened guys um i don't want to make the video any longer i hope you guys did enjoy this video it was nice recording it i hope i said enough and i think i did say enough i just didn't want to go too deep into everything that happened but yeah that's basically what happened to me and let me know what you think let me know if you have dealt with anything like this even if it's not of a different religion maybe it's of a different culture that is totally different from the one that you are in because guys you know when you go into a relationship you don't think or oh, this is something that will be the problem but for me now when i go into another relationship i'm gonna ask what is your religion and how strongly do you feel about it what do you, what is your belief system what is your culture how much of it do you practice because i went through something that i would never want to go through again because i lost i lost i lost somebody and losing anybody is not nice so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i totally enjoyed this um don't forget to comment and subscribe guys and click the like button if you did like it and don't forget to follow me on my social media my name is Mapila Stusa everywhere with an underscore in between. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. I